Okay, so in 2019, I guess a lot of things will be different. And your sim is posted regularly now, which I am very surprised of. So in this latest video, he showed this particular TV transition, which is very amazing because he was right in front of the TV. It is not a simple masking transition. He was right in front of the TV. So it is something which is very easy to make and it's a little bit clever. That is it. That is pretty much it. So what he basically did was he shot the video, he edited the video and then used a pen drive and loaded the video onto his TV. And then he was seeing his TV. He was simply seeing his TV. And you will see at the last moment that the frame for the video freezes. Like the last frame, there is no movement at all. So at the last moment, he just froze the frame and then some other friend of his was shooting his video of the TV where he was just watching the TV and then taking the camera backwards in such a way that his face will be visible in this particular video as well. And he was just moving in front of the TV which means that there was no mask on the TV. It is simply a normal video which was played on a TV and someone else was shooting it. So that is pretty much it. So just simply shoot it with someone else. Tell that person to just be close to the TV and then go backwards and then shoot you. That is the simplest transition ever and I'm going to show you how to do this particular effect for both Final Cut Pro and for Premiere Pro. So if you have come for Final Cut Pro then skip to this portion and if you have come for Premiere Pro then skip to this portion. With that being said, what's up guys, Pixel Sammy here. Welcome to a new video. I hope you guys are having a great day. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, so first we are going to show for Final Cut Pro. So this is the footage which I am going to take. And this is the frame which I am going to freeze. So this is already frozen and this is the clip in which I have showed the screen of the computer and then pulled back the camera. So this is what you need to do it with your own camera. So that is the part which you can do it on your own but make sure to use a gimbal or something which can stabilize the footage a lot. Now I have already frozen the footage but in case you want to know how to freeze the footage just for example this one then press on shift plus H and then the footage will be frozen and the portion of the red bar is the actual duration of the frozen footage. So let's jump to the main tutorial. So this is the portion which I am going to show the effect on right around here. So I'm going to delete the extra portion. I'm going to delete the extra portion for the camera footage as well, like from around here. And then reduce the opacity. And then what you need to do is, this is the confusing part. So make sure to just mix and match both of the slips so that they align properly, one above the other. You can scale it, you can reposition it, you can do anything but make sure both the clips are properly aligned with each other and then after doing that you can change the opacity back to 100%. So I'm mean going to just fast forward this portion because this will take a lot of time to do. So that is pretty much it. Now change the opacity back to 100% and your main transition is ready. So you can keep the duration a little bit shorter like the frozen footage can stay a little bit shorter in duration but this is pretty much the entire effect. So that is how you do it. This is the final result after all the sound effects and other stuff but the practical thing is it is pretty simple to use and it is pretty simple transition to use and you guys can use it anywhere any kind of footage can work. Just what you need to make sure is the footage needs to be very stable. Now I am going to show for Premiere Pro. So this is the footage which I am going to take. And this is the footage which I shot with the camera where I just showed the frozen footage in the screen and then shot it with the camera and pulled the camera backwards. So this is the frozen frame which I am going to take. So in order to just freeze a frame such as this one, go to the camera button which says export frame and then give a name to the frame. and then click on OK and then you are going to see the frame in the computer screen right here and then drag the frame onto the events panel and then reposition it properly with the main footage
and then drag the main portion of the camera clip right here and then I'm going to remove all the extra portion from the exported frame as well and then drag the main camera clip over the exported frame right around here and then I'm going to just reduce the opacity for the exported frame and then I'm going to use the transform tool and the scale tool to reposition it and make sure both the exported frame and the camera clip are in the same location like both of them are aligned properly in the first frame like the first frame for the camera clip should align properly with the main exported clip only then this effect will look good only then this transition will look good so this will take a lot of time and this is the main portion of this effect so make sure to do this properly and accurately and take your own time in doing this and that is pretty much it And then when everything is ready, when it is properly aligned, then change the opacity back to 100%. And it is pretty much done. So after adding proper sound effects and all those other stuff, this is the final result. And that is pretty much it. It is a very simple effect to use. It is a very simple process to use. Just make sure both the clips are aligned properly and just make sure that the camera clip is properly stabilized. Otherwise, this effect will not look good. If it is a little bit on the rough side, like it is a little bit shaky, then this effect will look really bad. So make sure to have a stable footage and then it is pretty much it. Just a small alignment and all those other stuff and it is pretty much it. So this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching guys hope you liked my video so if you are into cinematography filmmaking videography and photography then my channel is just for you and if you like my kind of content and if you like the stuff i do in my channel the free stuff the transitions the plugins the alerts the tutorials and all this other stuff then please please subscribe to my channel and make sure that the push notification button is turned on so that you guys can see every time i make a new video so let's just join our hands and make this family make this community as big as we can and if you have any kinds of doubts for the videos for the later videos for the future videos or any kind of suggestion or any kind of talk you want to have with me then you can follow me on Instagram at this particular link and I will definitely definitely reply to you as soon as I get the message or see the message so with that being said thank you so much for watching guys and do let me know in the comment down below about what you guys are creating today about what you guys are creating with my kind of tutorials and all those other stuff so please please keep on creating and hustle and with that being said peace